Hey, 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 thanks for stopping by my channel today. If you're new here for the very first time, welcome. If you are returning, welcome back. I'm so glad to have all of you hit the play button today. I have one Valentine's farmhouse sign for you today. If you're interested in seeing what I came up with, then keep on watching. All right, I have this gather here sign from Dollar General that I picked up during a clearance event. And I do believe the sign was three, maybe five dollars, something like that. And what I'm going to do, I think it was three dollars. Yeah, three. I'm sorry, y'all. And uh, I am going to remove the tag and then I'm going to fill these holes with some spackling. I'm going to let it kind of dry a little bit and um, get it painted okay so you see the spackling has filled the holes but i'm just gonna add a little bit more because that hole is quite on the deep side okay because this is a thick sign all right and i tried my best to uh smooth out the where the sticker was by sanding it down i'm gonna take this apple barrel paint in white and we're gonna give it a good coat okay so keep on watching All right, now I have the Farm Life 2024 12 month calendar from the Dollar Tree. And I love this beautiful um, picture here. This is a repeat in the calendar. So I really did like this pickup truck and I never gotten the calendar from the previous year with this pickup truck because they were all gone. Yeah. Uh-huh. So I finally got me one. So yeah, I do like the fact that they do repeat some of the pictures because some of the pictures may be your favorites and you may want to work on them, work with them once again. And what I'm going to do is just get the truck cut out as well as the little hearts around the truck cut out. So keep on watching. All right, so now that we have the truck and the hearts cut out pretty much kind of detail like we want them to, the sign has completely dried. I'm going to add some Mod Podge, a generous amount across the sign so that these um, pictures will adhere. But first, we need to cover up the back to make it look uh, finished and uh, that gives it that high end look as well, just in case you plan on selling your projects or gifting your projects always cover your projects up on the back if you can and i'm just using some craft paper from the dollar tree and i um, pressing it down and we are going to get it trimmed out now you want to make sure that you hold down press down around the edges really really good so you don't rip the paper because you will see here in this video that the paper did get a little ripped on the back but this is definitely my sign so uh, we just, I'm not going to redo it. We're just going to keep it going. So trimming it off using the utility knife as well as the cutting mat from the Dollar Tree to get this finished. So keep on watching.
All right, so all of you new subscribers, thank you so very much for joining the family. I greatly, greatly appreciate your subscription to all of the oldest but goodies. Thank y'all for coming back over and over again. All of you that like my videos, share the videos, comment on my videos, I am so grateful to you all because all of that helps me out over here, okay? It keeps my videos showing up on YouTube. It keeps my videos suggesting my videos to people like yourself that really, really enjoy this type of content. So I am grateful, so grateful to you all. All right, so I'm just going to sand down the edges. I made sure that I pressed down with that sponge to make sure that it's pretty much adhered like I want it to. And I am just taking a little sanding sheet and just sanding downward to get um, the edges nice and neat and um, off the sides from hanging over the sides, okay? And that's what we're doing here. Okay, now we did say that this is going to be a farmhouse Valentine's sign. And I'm taking some of that burnt umber by Apple Barrel from Walmart. And I am just going to dab in it with this brush here to distress the edges out first. And um, going lightly because I am learning this technique, okay? This is not my specialty, y'all. But I will say the Creole Crafter my craft sister donna she'll get you right she you know check her channel out baby because that is the farmhouse queen okay and i am just following her instructions by going around the edges first distressing very very lightly and um and then i will take that paint as well and kind of go over all in the sign as well to get it looking kind of weathered a bit you know kind of dirty it up a little bit yeah yeah and then you will see me take my sanding block and just kind of going over the distressed areas where i feel like the paint you know was a little bit heavy just to kind of tone it down some and give it that kind of worn look as well so keep on watching All right, because we are going to style this as a shelf sitter, I am going to put two tumbling tile blocks here on the back just to give it some legs to be able to stand on so that it will be able to stand on its own, baby. So if you like anything that you've seen here today, thumbs the video up, leave me a comment, tell me what it is that you like. If this is your type of content, consider joining the family subscribe and hit the bell as well so now we will have our final reveal of this farmhouse valentine's sign All right, y'all, I think it turned out super duper cute. This was fun, this was easy. I'm gonna get into a little bit more farmhouse DIY projects here on the channel, so stay tuned, okay? 
Yes, I would love to hear from you and your thoughts. If you like this, go ahead and like it. That helps me out, y'all. Tell me what it is that you do like. Subscribe and hit the bell as well. Thanks for watching, and I'm going to catch y'all in the next one. Bye-bye.